hey it's me guys i woke up early this morning did my workout and then was like i wonder if josh will call me when he like has a plan for the day and then i kind of fell asleep on the couch and he texted me at nine it was like okay i'm ready and i was like <sighs> so at 10 o'clock i saw his message and i was like shit i'm so sorry i'll be there right away um yeah i i um we're starting the day late it's all my fault <laughs> coming all the way from canada it's josh reimer in your natural environment. <laughs> so Josh Reimer is my friend from Vancouver. We have gone on many trips together and he just flew in from Paris. He's doing back-to-back -back business trips. He's here for a convention, but luckily he had a few hours for me. <laughs> Josh does LA. I'm doing so close on your face, it's awkward. Ooh, better. Welcome to the Grove, Josh. Damn, your shoulders look good. You been working out, sir. Holy sheesh. We wanted to see and do everything in as little time as possible. So we started our trip at the Grove, mostly because our first scheduled place wasn't open yet. So this was a quick second choice. So pretty. It's just so pretty. What do you have to say, Josh? It's so pretty. Welcome to America. <laughs> About 11 years ago, Josh Reimer and I hopped in his parents' convertible and drove all the way down to Los Angeles to make YouTube videos. Social media really only had one option back then. It was nothing like it is today, but more about that later. Now, if you follow Josh Reimer, and you should, you would know he is the proud gunkle to a young gentleman named Dylan. So we had to stop by Dylan's Candy Bar, and this place did not disappoint. It had everything. Canadian. So they have these little bunnies. Dylan's Candy Bar has these little bunnies. Dylan's Candy Bar. They're everywhere. Everywhere. Even little Christmas ornaments. And then... I realized that they donate to this animal rescue that specializes in rabbits. Oh, I love this so much. I wanted to buy this for my bestie's mom because I know she loves elephants, but I didn't want to come across as weird because I've never met her. I just know about her. And so I didn't buy it, but I should have because it would have been super kind and I'm sure she would have loved it. And the proceeds go to saving those cute little rabbits. Damn it, I gotta stop overthinking everything I do. Past the House of Nuts into the depths of the farmer's market, we went on a mission to find something interesting. And boy, did we find something interesting. That's the one from Hot Ones. These have great names. Satan's Rage. Also, Satan's Ghost. Dr. Asburn. Sphincter Shrinker. Flame and fat. Flatulence. Oh my goodness. Spontaneous combustion. Whoop ass. Oh my goodness. This is terrifying in the best ways. Purebred idiot hot sauce. Asplosion. Oh no, oh no, not the pink sauce. Look at that flaming cock. That artwork is incredible. Hog's ass. Shark, oh my goodness, no. Megasaurus. Next stop, Bennett's Ice Cream. Now, although this place is remarkable, it's been LA's favorite ice cream since 1963, it's not the place I thought it was. I thought it was the banana stand because of the frozen bananas. It looks appetizing, huh? <laughs> and it's a condom. It does look like it's wearing a condom. <laughs> Listen, there's one thing I know about Josh Reimer is his socks always match his underwear. So we know, Good to know he's wearing gray underwear today. They're good underwear too though. So that's how you take a condom off. That's everywhere. <laughs> Dude, your biceps look so good. Oh. Holy sheesh. Wow. Damn. Josh, you've been working out. I'm not 
wasn't filming your face, I'm just filming your arms. <laughs> <laughs> you, you look so good. How old are you now? How we won't old are you? Never mind, that's a secret. <laughs> Come spend a day with me in LA. <laughs> oh god, so hard. Mmm. <laughs> The trolley at the Grove was designed by one of Disney's Imagineers, and every detail on this trolley is exquisite. Honestly, you should see it at Christmas time. Oh, it's just magical. But it was pretty damn amazing on a random Thursday. Here we go, Josh. Woo. Top speed of five miles an hour. I just love lemon trees. I had never seen a lemon tree before I came to California, and they just grow everywhere here, like in people's front yards. Now these fountains might remind you of the fountains at the Bellagio in Las Vegas, and that's because it's from the same designer. Every hour on the hour, the water shoots up and dances to the music and creates this beautiful performance. So you can sit at one of the cafes at night, I suggest, with the twinkly lights above in the trees and let the water perform for you as you have a romantic dinner. I just love this place. It's just so beautiful. But here we are, making bad decisions. <laughs> We're Kardashians for the next five minutes. <laughs> Erwan is an overpriced grocery store where celebrities like the Kardashians apparently shop. That's special. Yikes. It's like $30 Canadian. Oh my god, organic pistachios? $23. Well, it's reconstructed hyper oxygenated water. It's Nano Pure. Strawberry Jam. We just... That's a very little jar. Alright, we're going in. Driver, we are at Air One. It's very expensive, but we're going to get the Haley Beaver smoothie. Because that's what TikTokers do. It's too expensive. We can't afford this, but we're going <laughs> to do it because we're influencers. Oh. We're not. We've been influenced. Yeah. Oh. I thought... Oh, I thought I, I thought I saw Usher for a second. Uh, who? Usher. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like low key though, I'm mad that it's so yummy because I don't want to justify how expensive it is, but it's so good. Like it's delicious. Every sip. It's expensive and delicious. But it's so good. I hate how yummy it is. Josh Reimer, you can tell us about Josh Does LA. Josh Does LA. You want me to tell you? Yeah, tell oh. the story. Well, about, what was it, 13, 10 years, 14 ago? years ago? Oh, yeah, it was longer than that. <laughs> um, Samantha and I came to LA to live here for like a month and try to become Los Angeles's YouTube superstars. <laughs> yeah. Did it work? No, not at all. <laughs> hey, we're both back in LA. And we're YouTube superstars. No, not at all. Last time I had the LaCoupe experience. How was it though? Yeah, it lives up to the hype. Were you expecting the honey flavor? No. It's so good. So good. So good. Mm -hmm. So good that and you messy. swirl it all over your pants. <laughs> <Yeah, exactly. laughs> you guys know 90% of the time I try to be vegetarian or vegan. But this chicken is the exception to the rule. It is so incredible. Now, on their menu, they have other items. But if this chicken is not involved, don't order it because it's just mid, as the kids would say. But the chicken is worth it. And you can't take a trip to Hollywood without taking a stroll down the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Down Celine Dion. Of course I do. Queen. Right, we'll go on. We were walking down the street and a fellow congratulated you for being winning at life because you got a good one. Yeah. 
He actually thought that I snagged this. Right now, Hollywood is setting up for the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes movie premiere. This throne is impressive. And Hollywood's kind of like that. One day you're walking down a street with panhandlers on one side and performance artists on the other. And sometimes they block off the whole road for a red carpet. <laughs> I mean, it looked pretty dope. That presentation was everything. First things first, why does the world's tallest man look like Keith Haversberger? Wow. Wow. Like, wow. I come up to his elbow barely. Women of the Bororo tribe in Nigeria walk gracefully while wearing anklets that weigh 10 pounds. The number one wife of the chief of the Dan tribe of Liberia wears 26 pound ankle weights to prove that she never has to work and she's never in a hurry. It's a hippo. I love hippos. I have a hippo tattooed in my armpit. <laughs> Mr. R2-D2 and C-3PO showing off exactly what they're made of. I can see your guts. This is Josh trying to figure it out. These are our instructions. Turn on phone flashlight to apply writing against a shadow wall. I don't get it. Do you get it? Four, three, two, one. Now check your shadow on the wall. Oh, that's cute. Why is your shadow staying? Oh, the cameras were all flashing a second ago. It looked really cool. Paparazzi. Josh walked through and the flashes went off and it looked so cool. So I walked through a second time and the paparazzi was not interested in me. George Reeves, the first Superman in 1952, needed three people to help him get in and out of his Superman costume. Now this is the original cape, belt buckle, and body armor worn back in 1952. Notice how in the early publicity photos, the suit was actually yellow and red. All TVs were black and white back then. So nobody actually knew what color Superman was. This is a life-size Schwarzenegger. He's huge. This is not a life-size Hulk. But he's cool. Gee, where are you, Josh? Hey, we please believe it or not. Come out in the road dress. Are we kidding? Oh. Lush. Gloves, to put it on, gloves to take it off, like literally hand sanitizer. It was like guards around, like you, it was so much, it, it was so crazy. It was verified in her footprints? That's amazing. Okay, get it, get it, get it there. <laughs> Who is this place? Oh, hello, sir. Of course, that got me. There's a red button here that you're supposed to touch, but when you walk out onto it, it drops. And I thought I broke it. I was like, I walked out and it went down, and I was like, oh no, is that my fat ass? Or did I supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen. That's why the button's there to lure you onto the trap door. The lollipops with like ants and things inside. <laughs> Ant candy. Oh wow. 
it's a vending machine of bugs. I need to buy it, eh? Wow. Oh my gosh, I just... I'm not that hungry. Okay, this is dope. Whoa, did you see my butt for a second there? It was like stretched all the way out. Oh, it gave me flat ass. Oh, not over there. Whee! <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Woo, made it. Good job, Josh, congratulations. Thanks, I feel accomplished. Well, hello, sirs. Gosh darn. Yes, thanks very much. know what brand of sticky note is on the back of this truck because that thing has not fallen off and we've been following him for like a mile. That sticky note is just flapping in the wind. Look at it. What is that stuck on with? Wait, what does it say? I can almost zoom in enough to see what it says. Adam? Okay. 